Okay, you're about to watch a video of a wheel challenge that I just did between my new 60 mil 81B Bones SPF wheels and my old uh, slime balls that are 60 mil 97As. And I'll just cut to the chase because after looking at the footage and seeing the comparison, uh, the new SPF wheels, the Bones, they're fantastic. They're fast. Um, I wasn't comfortable on them right away, so I wasn't getting, uh, I wasn't pushing it. I wasn't getting the height that I knew that I could. But in the images afterwards, after I looked at the footage, there's already a, a speed and height difference. So that's the the summary, the end result. And after this, you'll see the the whole setup and the comparison in the footage. All right, I got a setup video, I guess. I, um, I've got a couple of new things, but I haven't posted a video on this stuff because I was gonna try things out first and let people know what I thought. Um, I got these new Aust 7 or Mach 7 bearings. And uh, I've ridden these about six times now, uh, six sessions in. They're working okay. They were perfectly silent when I started with them. Um, I took them out and cleaned them because not not because i want to clean these things after six rides but because i usually ride my 64 mil g bones and <clears throat> i've got i've always had carve outs in the board to make sure that i don't rub and i run quarter inch risers with these but it's warming up a little bit um i'm trying to ride my trucks a little bit looser and i got wheel bite and i busted my ribs pretty bad about a week ago so um i ordered uh, some Bones SPF 81B 60 mils. Uh, that's the biggest size they make them in, and I should probably run a smaller wheel anyway. I think 64 is a little bit big. Uh, so this past weekend, I went back to one of my older decks. Um, I got the, uh, with the Flight Series, um, and it's a, a old pool ripper. Um, like the shape, it's only a 15 inch wheelbase instead of a 16, like you get to run on the black label. Um, <clears throat> but it's got 60 mil slime balls on it. And so I went back to a smaller wheel. Um, it was fine. And uh, I am gonna try these SPFs because these are supposed to be awesome. Everybody raves about these things. So that's what I'm gonna ride today. And we're gonna set it up real quick. I also, um, I always like my Lucera boards. I started with, uh, <clears throat> I just found this one randomly, the Lucera Cross. And this thing's fantastic. I love this board. It's a, a 16 inch wheelbase, 10 inches wide, about 33 and a half long, plus or minus. Uh, but got some stress cracks in it and stuff. Didn't want it to split on me. Uh, got another Lucero, um, but it was the, the thumb head or the pin head, the one with the baby smoking a cigarette. I don't really like that logo, so I put my own logo on it. Uh, but they finally started selling these things again. And one of you guys uh, pinged me, actually two different people pinged me on this. So I picked up another one. And then I got another one because they never go on sale. So I was pumped about that. Anyway, we are going to set up my new Bones, uh, 60 mil SPFs and see how they run. All right, so there we got the, uh, the 60 mil Bones SPF 81Bs. Um, we're gonna go test these out now. They feel a little bit waxy right out of the case, so I think they gotta get scratched in a little bit is what I read, but um, hopefully they're nice and fast and feel great, we'll see. The, uh, the biggest difference that I'm gonna have between riding my old slime balls or my old G-bones, look at the contact patch difference on there. It's about double the contact patch I used to ride on these 97A's G-Bones to these 60 mil um, SPFs. So this, this shape, way, way different. It's about an 18 mil contact patch versus about 35. So we're gonna see how that feels. My old 60 mil slime balls, 97A's, and then my new SPF Bones, 60 mil. All right, first warm ups.
All right, brand new SPS. Haven't pushed on them one time. We're gonna see how slick they are. Today's test was the new 60 mil Bones SPF versus my old slime ball 60 mil. Huge contact patch difference. Um, pretty much same board, same wheelbase, all that stuff. So it's mostly wheel difference. And uh, uh, still injured from uh, from the ribs from last weekend. That did not stretch out, so that actually impacted me going over the hips, trying to pump, lifting my arms and stuff. I just wasn't feeling that, so I couldn't push very hard. But, uh, so I don't, I don't feel like I really got to push these wheels that hard today. But, um, in comparison, I felt like I pushed these wheels like I always do, um, which is interesting. And I, uh, I don't know, on this one, because of the contact patch, I feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more secure, like I can push on the edge a lot harder um, I think this is a mental game right now but since this contact patch is so thin and the wheels harder I just I feel like I got to stay right on top of the board like I don't have that I can't push off to the side I can't like I carve like I'm on the edge of a snowboard I don't feel like I can do that on these and they do just ever so slightly I felt like they were harder and they could slip they didn't slip um, they felt great but I also feel super solid, so I did some, uh, I didn't land a fly out, but I did the fly out, or roll out, and um, every time I landed on the board, with one foot, but, but landed, felt really solid on these things. Felt really nice, actually. Um, so, overall, I like the wheels a lot. They definitely feel like they could be a lot faster, and we'll see. Um, it's super hot, I'm exhausted, I don't have any energy, and my ribs are still killing me, so. We'll see how I improve over time with them. All right, drop test. Hold that guy there. That tells you about nothing. 